This is a very special episode of Abermance here where we're going to spin the clock back about two and a half years and compare where we are now to where we were then. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance on the Avamancia Peninsula. Today, really special episode, episode 101, and this is as a result of a request from, I think, no less than about 40 or 50 people, so I thought it's definitely got to be worth a go. We're not building anything today. What we are going to do today is compare what this is now to what it was the day that I spawned in. We're going to do a number of panoramic effects to show the change from day one to day, I don't even want to know what day, frankly, this is, <laughs> is of day gazillion. So let's have a look and see how it was when we first began. And this is it. Look, we are in Avamancia before I even touched a single block. This is more than a little bit weird. I'm just going to have a little bit of a mooch around before we actually do some comparisons. So do you remember the, the fact that I didn't have a clue what I was doing? This is two and a half years ago, for goodness sake. And out there is the sea. Proper nostalgic looking at all these bits. So we're just going to have a quick wander through. It's just woods, woods and a little bit more woods. Now remember, on Avamancia now, there is not a tree in sight within that citadel. It is absolutely bare. This is awesome. So if we just keep wandering through in this direction, I might go across the top of the trees actually. Let's just have a look here. You can see over there the start of the savannah. So let's come along this way. This is all really where the village starts. We're outside of the citadel now already and you can see that the savannah is about to start and here that is the they can just about see the hills there look let's come over on here you can see the hills of the savannah where we've put in the two towers this is the area where we've got um, the windmill and the silo goodness me it is so very different so what I thought we'd do is we just have a little bit of arty farty stuff where I'm panning around in the old world and then I do it again in the new world to a little bit of music. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Go hashtag music and let me know what you think. Let's crack on. Now, before we go into that little picturesque music -y cinematic, I've come over to do the mate space and the Hall of Heroes, but you're thinking, hang on a minute, that's not the mate space, Abo. What on earth are you doing? Well, this is a bit of a tease of things to come. This is the mate's base pixie village. What on earth is going on, Avermance? I have no clue what's going on. Well, actually, you won't yet, but some things are afoot, and you'll see that every mate is in this pixie village. I'm not going to give you a tour around the pixie village because that would just be a little too much. But look, every single mate that we've had since episode six or seven, which was the first one I did, is written down here. But we still have to put in another mate in placeholder 101. So mate base before Hall of Heroes, let's just get rid of that placeholder and let's put our dark oak sign up there because today we are putting in episode 101 and I've got to remember to do that underneath otherwise it won't work. And in here, we are going to put the amazing Ravan Thot. Ravan, you are so overdue being in the mate space. I'm absolutely delighted. Let me die you. There you are perfectly. Episode 101. And the first person to be in the mate space in here. And believe me, this place is huge. As for the Hall of Members, well, what on earth has gone on? Well, the Hall of Members is now the Garden of Members, and we've got a brand new member today, Hades Voigt. Hades, thank you very much for becoming a member. You have got your statue here in recognition of that amazing thing. Thank you very much. I'm being very careful to not turn around too much because I don't want to give too much away. It's all very exciting. But what of the patrons, I hear you ask? Well, dear viewer, the patrons have got a brand new home as well. This is Patron Manor, and I'm going to show you around the new guys that we have got here. I'm really delighted. All of our patrons are on these plinths here, and I want to add here Jamie Hutt, Miss Seeley, Stephen Harford, Cole Corn, Tristan, 
Thud85, Skeletal Virus, and Rebecca Lowther. All of you are amazing, and you'll have your names on here if you haven't already. I haven't managed to get everybody in. I know Jamie's there already, but all of you will be without question on the list and I'm really looking forward to adding you. Thank you so much for becoming Cobblestone Patrons. It is the absolute foundation of the channel and I couldn't do this stuff without you. Now we're going upstairs because the Redstone Hall is up here. Oh good, look it looks all red and redstoney. What on earth's going on? Let's go over here because the Redstone Patrons have their own area too. So I've got two brand new Redstone Patrons that I want to say hello to. The first is Gary Shannon. Gary, you've got a specially made set of armor there right for you. And you are right next to Lost Expat. Hopefully he doesn't drag your down your arm too much because I heard that you sprained it the other day. And that would be terrible for it to hurt just because I put you here. And then also up on this side, Mui Poo. Mui Poo, you've just joined the Redstone ranks. Thank you so much. It's an absolute pleasure. I'll put you next to Sally because she's lovely and you can have a good chat about stuff. Thank you so much for becoming Redstone Patrons. It is absolutely incredible. You may or may not know, but there is a new patron level called Iron. Iron is strong, reliable, and offers the central support to the channel. As an Iron patron, you give the channel the strong framework that it can build upon. Yes, you do. And we have our first Iron patrons already, and I'm absolutely blown away that you've made the decision to become Iron patrons. All of you, upgrades. Upgrades are allowed. And Luke Parsons, you are an absolute star. Thank you so much for taking the decision to become a Nine patron. Your rewards will come not only in heaven, but also on the server. Tylee37, Tylee, you are a wonderful, wonderful person. Thank you so much for becoming an Iron patron. I'm really excited to see what you're getting up to on Avatopia. Bruce, Bruce, you are a star. I've put you next to Tylee because she's, she's, she's a good girl. She is. You're, I think you'll get on really well. Thank you so much for upgrading to uh, become an Iron Patron. It is absolutely amazing of you. And Deborah Lee. Deborah, you upgraded from Cobble straight over to Iron. You didn't even bother with Redstone. You are an amazing, wonderful person. Thank you so much. The support you're giving is absolutely sensational. And you four get to be the first Iron Patrons on the entire channel in this new place. <gasps> what is this place anyway? What about the Diamond Patrons, Oamans? What goes on with them? Well, you've got a very special place too. Let's come around here. I've got to be really careful to not show you too much. But here is our Diamond Patrons. Adam, you're there. Mama Bear, you're there. Other Diamond Patrons all around this pool and lounge area. We also have a sauna. And inside the sauna, we've got a number of our Diamond Patrons here too. All with your heads. One person that's not got a head yet, but will have, is Melestria. Melestria, thank you so much for becoming a Diamond Stone Patron. It is incredible that you take the decision to give that level of support to me. And I'm hugely, hugely grateful. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you're going to do on the Avatopia server and to chatting with you in the Discord. It is brilliant to have you as a member of the team. We're going to get your head as soon as we can. And that is all I'm going to show you for now. But bear in mind, there's a lot coming on the Avaverse, and this is just a little tiny part of it. You have got no idea what's coming. It is mind blowing, and I'm really, really looking forward to, and I'm very excited about it. Watch this space. Right, well, let's get back to that Avamancia Peninsula and just see how it's changed over the last two and a half years.
what an amazing transformation to go from that woody kind of island-esque thing to what we physically have now i'm really really pleased with the way it came out and i hope that you are too at some point in the future probably the not too distant future actually i'm going to release this world save and you too can come on and have a fiddle around with it and do what you want with it if you have enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it'd be great to know you're enjoying it and i will keep on making them. also if you've not done it already please do hit that subscribe button it'd be great to see you in my sub club and i look forward to seeing you in another video you take it easy now Bye.